That is the scene at USC Stadium on the Sunshine Coast as we continue through round eight of Suncorp Super Netball. Georgie Horges leading the Thunderbirds out. There's the captain, Hannah Petty. Two wins, five losses, and those last five defeats come in a row. So the Thunderbirds need to get a wriggle on by their own admission. They're looking to go six and one from here. Matt Russell in commentary alongside Laura Geitz, Kira Tronk, both of them former Firebirds, now part of the Fox Netball team, and Laura, these teams. I just got a feeling they're going to put on a show today as we look at the team lineups thanks to Woolworths. Well, if it follows suit of the match we've just seen between the Melbourne Vixens and the Queensland Firebirds, we're all set for an absolute thriller here. We've spoken about it so much. One goal separated them in round three. Lots of feeling. Can't wait for this match to get underway. So the ball being delivered for centre pass and great to see the youngsters do that. Game in, game out. Lightning have the first possession here and we're underway in the second leg of your Saturday double. Suncorp Super Netball into the second half of the season now. The Hinchliffe Twins looking for big games tonight. And great to see Kara Conan back from the COVID protocols that kept her out last week. Steph Wood. Did it have it all her own way last weekend? Well, already Shamira Sterling, fingertips on the ball, so Thunderbirds come up with an early possession. Well, they failed to get through their first possession. The home team may be a little down on confidence after conceding 82 points against the Giants last week. Lenise Potkita deposits Come the back. first goal. Yeah, great little win. Shamira Sterling already getting fingertips. We can see Play there. Amazing to know that or see that Lightning have opted for that high bully and she will eat them up all day, every day. Shamira Sterling. A beautiful pass from Horges to Potgita. They slap hands. They're making a fast start. The first two goals to the visitors. Trying to snap this five game losing streak that started with a loss against the Lightning in Adelaide. And now contact called on Sterling. The game's premier defender. Conan scores just to settle the home team and ignite the home crowd. Always a good crowd here, Laura. Oh, it absolutely is. And we know that Lightning have had a bit of a yo-yo season <laughs> as Hannah Petty. I'm trying to get my words out as she's trying to stay in court. What a great little play there from Hannah Petty. And Thunderbirds, just their timing is really beautiful. So a great start from the girls from Adelaide. They went down last week to West Coast, but did keep the fever to 60 goals, modest by the scoring rate that the Fever have tallied so far this season. So their game is there, or parts of it are there. Can it all come together tonight like it did in the first couple of rounds when Adelaide started 2-0? and oh. Steph Wood scores from mid-range. Yeah, well, it's interesting, Matt, because let's talk about round three and round four for a second. One goal in at a piece. We just see there a turnover. Had Thunderbirds walked away with wins in both of those games, they'd be well and truly in the top four and their season would be looking very different. So they are capable of anything, but it's about learning to win. And that's where we might just be seeing a little bit of lack, lack of experience in that department. Wood for Lightning catches the back of the ring and then misses its Adelaide ball. Likewise, if Lightning win this game, they'll go to four wins and be there right around the edge of the top four. We saw the ladder during the previous game, a thriller. It is so tight in that battle for the top four. It is, there's so much congestion. Really, Vixens and Fever are those top front runners. They're safe, but anything else can happen in terms of the ladder as Georgie Hoare just slots a beautiful shot. Let's go to Kira Trump with Lightning in possession here. Last week, the home team didn't feel like they had the rub of the green from the whistleblowers. And Kira, that was an interesting comment from the camp out of that game. Yeah, absolutely. They weren't happy with the attention the umpires paid to them during that third quarter. Interestingly enough, we come up against the most heavily penalised team in the Thunderbirds tonight. It'll be a big job for the Lightning girls to make sure that they look up, keep calm and composed, and don't let the umpires take part in this game give them uh, any reason to complain tonight. And Kira was saying the Lightning are the least penalised team in the league, so maybe the least likely to therefore complain. And they win possession here, much to the delight 
of the fans in here at USC Stadium. Well, Kate Walsh came up with a great little win there, but Tara Hinchliff, she's got to keep it in. Reward the work of Kate Walsh. This is her old club, Kate. We knew her as Kate Shimon, married in the off season or early parts of the season. So she's got a little bit of extra feeling coming up against her. Whoa, Hannah Petty, outstanding work. It's a throw in. Unfortunately, she just couldn't keep, keep in court for that one. So Steph Wood wants a better look. Conan with the hand of Shamira Sterling making life difficult for her. And then she gets bailed out by contact from Sterling. And Kara Conan leaves a second shot short. Kira Tromp over to you. What are you noticing about this attack? Yeah, look, Matt, I've noticed that the Lightning have used two cross-court swings against uh, in their center, in their lineup down here. And it would be really good, I think, if they could just find that middle part of that circle. As we see an offensive contact there, Mahali has picked up the ball. You just see as they come down court now whether they can find that connection at the top of the circle because they're sending it over and it's opening up that intercept for Shamira. Yeah, really good point, Kira. It's interesting. You could nearly just map Kira, uh, sorry, Kara Conan's direction out of the circle. She's driving out right-hand side every single time the ball is coming down court. Shamira Sterling, she's on to that. She should maybe just adjust her starting position we often say get between the, the feeder and the attacker so you're in between the player with the ball. So she just adjusted that starting position. She could actually force Kara Conan out to the other side of the circle. Good to see a smile on the face of Kara back from last week's layoff. And just back to your point, Laura, regarding Kate Walsh. Actually nine seasons at Adelaide over two stints. So very much... Uh, motivated by playing her former club. As we see, lightning wing possession, good at the defensive end. Can they capitalise here? Well, this is what we saw lightning do so well on the Giants last week. They had a great start defensively. Kate Walsh got hands to an intercept earlier. Tara Hinchley, if we spoke about her pre-game, the lightning need to reward the defensive engine room of the, the lightning. They need to be able to consolidate and convert just as Steph Wood has done there. You and Kira wouldn't know what it's like to play a former club. You were both only Firebirds. I know times have changed now. We often see players moving around and in search of, of court time. And a perfect example of that is Tipper Dwan, who's on the bench, obviously, for the Thunderbirds. We saw her play last season at the Firebirds, but players just searching for that court time and prepared to make the move. He's Georgie Horges. Tara yeah. Hinchliff called out a play. Georgie scores another goal. Kira, did you come close to playing for another national team apart from the Firebirds? Absolutely not, Matt. A Firebird through and through. I was proud to be a part of that club and I wouldn't have left. Um, I will say that the Lightning didn't exist. So maybe <laughs> if they were around, I would have thought twice about driving up and down the highway <laughs> every day. But Kira, tell us about your little hobby in the off, in the uh, retired life. Oh, maybe, oh, can maybe can the can AFL, can my yeah, current yeah. AFL career. <laughs> Guiding. <laughs> can you believe that's what she does in her spare time is just play a bit of AFL? Just a bit. <laughs> you wonder mums, I'm, I remark at how you're able to do it all. Cassidy, quick to clean up Lenise Potgita's crumbs. Maddie Hinchley finds Sherian. Wood joins in. And Steph Wood brings Maddie Garrett out of play. Maddie Garrett playing game 50. So congratulations, Maddie. Little milestone in her career. And now she is picking up the rebound. And that was from great defensive pressure over the shot by Shamira Sterling. See there, four rebounds to the Thunderbirds. This is what the Thunderbirds did so well last week against the Fever. They gave the long ball option. Oh, Kate Walsh! Walsh. Sherian. And now Kara Conan for Wood. Contact 
Steph Wood, a little step back, makes it look easy. Well, here, have a look at the hands over pressure, Kate Walsh, and she is just so good at that. She's got those beautiful long arms to put off any goaler. Really good shopping early, but now we're just playing at one pace and giving the ball off at that one pace. Too many long leads, middies. I think that when we're going into that deep one, there's a times that we can just slightly come back, especially if we're throwing from the transverse line. You know, when you've had this ball here, George, and we're going right into there, it's playing into their pockets. So we've got to shorten it up a bit. And number one thing, we're not siding the defence. Okay. So what they're doing, so it's like get them shake the defence. Yeah. Get the ball up early, might get some penalty, but have a look if they're standing down here, sight them. So we want to look over there, but we've got to see what's happening in front of us as well. Clean hands, all right? Clean on the ball. Let's go. Okay? Let's go. Yeah, Just right. talk it up, okay? With, with that first part, well. it's great. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. You've been listening to an HCF tactical timeout. Tanya Ost leading the Thunderbirds. Huddle. First three centre Let's go. Tanya in charge since 2019 and trying to get the Thunderbirds into the Suncorp Super Netball Finals for the first time. They've been eighth, eighth, and then three lots of seventh placings. Is this the breakout year? Doesn't look like at the moment, but still a long way to go this season. There is such a long way to go, and I love what the Thunderbirds are building down there. They're such a proud club. They've got rich history if you want to trace it back to over all the years of professional netball so and their their coach Tanya Ob she you've only got to ask the players that have been coached by her she is outstanding and held in such great regard mm. from a lot of the players that she's coached so if anyone's going to bring them together what I'm saying is it's Tanya Obst and Kira was listening to the other group. Kira. Yeah, another coach in Kylie Byrne. She had direction for her team, wanted them to be patient with the ball. She didn't care if it took 10 passes for them to get it down court. She also touched on the balance on the circle edge, which we brought up in commentary. She asked Maddie and Laura to make sure they got ball side when Steph and Kara had the ball so they weren't having to pass over the hands of the Thunderbirds. Yeah, really interesting too, Kira. Kara Conan has gone to the bench, Riley Batchador on, whether that's for the Suncorp Super Shot, whether she's just, obviously just working her way back in. We've spoken so much that she was out last week with COVID. Some players being affected more than others. I wonder if Kara's just feeling a little bit off the pace. Gorgeous, accurate still. Thunderbirds by two into Suncorp super shot territory in this first quarter. Sherian, the pocket rocket in this lightning lineup. Well, Riley Batchador lines up for the super oh, shot. Yes. She is outstanding oh. at it. Kylie Byrne unmoved despite the heroics of Batchador. Real confidence boost for Riley early on and now Potgita has her shot rattle home. Well, what a little set play there from the Thunderbirds. That took two passes to go to goal. Such clever work from Georgie Horges. Fake Tara Hinchliff out of the circle and opened up Potgita under the circle, under the post, I should say. Steph Wood, super shot and it rolls home. The lightning in front by one. Can't the super shot region change a game quickly? Absolutely it can. And it's so funny as we see a hell ball there. So all of a sudden the crowd start getting involved in this match. Walsh. Sherian oh. looking for Batchel door. It's off. Adelaide, so position stays with the Lightning. Sterling frustrated with that call. You can see them just playing a bit of a off the body defensive structure, the Thunderbirds. And it's working really nicely. Shamira Sterling is getting hands to quite a few balls down here, eliminating the risk of being on the body. Oh, Gosh, she is incredible. Shamira Sterling in the face of Riley Batchelor, just giving us a little sample of what's to come tonight. Now Georgie Hodges. Oh. Closer for Potgeeter to take the one. 
Yeah, smart play there again from Horgis. So we head down the other end, have a look at this defensive work and the timing up and over. Outstanding work. It's going to be a battle off between Shamira Sterling and Kate Walsh as to who can get the most re rejections over the shot tonight. Heavy contact there on Wood. It was awkward from Shamira Sterling. Second to Janiel Fowler in terms of Nissan net points. The highest Nissan net points tally of the season, Shamira. Averaging 88, and last week she had 88. Well, there you see a hell ball from Riley Batcheldor. Steph Wood was in super shot position and passed off to Batcheldor, and she just held it for a second too long and got pinned. Tilly Garrett looking long and finding the mark. Lenise Potgita. That's what the Thunderbirds did so well last week against Fever. They looked to the long option, and in that timeout, oh, Harley Cassidy comes up with a win there. See there, the match leaders, Sterling, topping the chart. Here's Steph Wood. Batchelor gets the rebound, and then. Look at that. Look at that from Jamira <laughs> Sterling. Well, it's going to be a long night. Riley and Lightning Shooters, if that's the sort of form that Shamira is going to show us. Well, she makes it look so easy, Matt, and it's not. That's the point. And you know what else? Not only does it win the ball for the Lightning, but the confidence that it just zaps the Lightning Shooters. We see here she jumps down. She's got that beautiful... It just looks like it's textbook. So easy. Gosh, she's dangerous. Jamaican International, a Team of the Year member for the last three seasons of Suncorp Super Netball. We'll go through her numbers from last season in a moment, but Riley Batchelor again confronts Shamira Sterling. And she can take the penalty here. Yeah, Shamira Sterling last season, 49 intercepts, 86 deflections, 25 nice. defensive rebounds. Well, here you see it. We spoke about the games that the Thunderbirds defence come up with. The challenge for them is taking it through long court transition. So basically saying delivering it to their shooters safely. And this is what they're doing really beautifully tonight and what they haven't done in previous games. So all things are going well right now for the Adelaide Thunderbirds. Tilly Garrett again, similar pass, finding the mark again in Potgeeter. But coming away with it, Maddie Hinchliffe through Wood Sherian. Now back to Steph. Wow, this will be a super shot on quarter time. It catches the iron and rolls wide of the mark. An entertaining first quarter. It's the visitors eking out a lead. The Lightning led late in the first quarter. But the Adelaide Thunderbirds up by three as we head to quarter time and then return to USC Stadium on the Sunshine Coast. Welcome back to USC Stadium, where we see the Adelaide Thunderbirds leading the Sunshine Coast Lightning by three goals. Coach of the uh, Adelaide Thunderbirds, Tanya Ox, very happy with her team, using the ball well, being patient, loose ball gets. They've really concentrated on that. They're there, they're first to the ball. So all over the court, they feel like they've got it on the Lightning at the moment. Guidesy, what did you hear in the huddle over at the Lightning? Yeah, well, I have to agree with Tanya Obbs. I would be happy too with what Lightning are putting out. Vicky Wilson, the assistant coach of Lightning, we know what she used to be capable of doing out on the court. She spent a lot of time with the shooters, as you can imagine, but so deserved because Shamira Sterling has played outstanding in that opening quarter. She spoke about no flat drives out of the circle confidence on the shot put the shot up we've seen her do those re rejections over the shot she said just keep going to post but what you're not doing is following in the shot so make sure you get the rebound so vicky wells wilson delivering some very direct firm instruction to her goalers thank you ladies quarter time brought to you by origin energy that was really interesting from vicky wilson Basically telling Riley Batchelor, don't get the dirts, fire up, <laughs> get in there and get the rebounds. And it was funny because we we were expecting Riley Batchelor to come out onto court in that goal shooter position, but we see Conan back on court. And the crowd absolutely disgraced with that call. 
Thunderbirds first quarter shooting stats very tidy Lenise Potgeter making all 10 of her attempts Georgie Horges three of four here is Horges well, another change for the Thunderbirds, too, is Latanya Wilson into goal defence. We off, we have seen, obviously, in previous Things rounds that position being shared equally between Wilson and Garrett. So Let's see what she can do on Stephanie Wood. Pop Gita, perfect from 11 now as Wilson just loses her way at the transverse line. Almost going offside and having to throw it away. Hinchliff for Walsh. The shooting has been more difficult for the Lightning for obvious reasons. Look at Steph Wood, 5 of 11. Cara Conan, 2 of 3. And Riley Batchelor, 1 of 2. All of her attempts, both of them, Suncorp super shots. Well, it's that pressure over the shot, Matt. And we often speak about, as defenders, winning the ball at intercepts. But winning the ball as a rebound, winning the ball pressure over the shot is just as... Oh, Shamira Sterling, she's in it again. Jeez. Unfortunately, that one doesn't pay off for her, though. No, but, but she puts a bit more terror in the attacker's mind. Well, she just, it's like she's got the ball on a magnet. She's just got fingertips to absolutely everything, and she's everywhere over the goal circle. So not only does it intimidate her goalers, but it puts a seed of doubt in the mind of the feeders out the front. Building wingspan as Steph Wood finds the target. The last three times these teams have met, it's been one goal. The difference, there are the Lightning's shooting stats, and you can see the difficulties that they've been encountering so far. Conan and Wood, both members of the Diamonds Commonwealth Game Squad, and not because of the percentages that were just on screen. Yeah, well, we're not used to seeing that. We're used to just seeing, particularly Steph Wood, go to post and just sink them. Lenise Potgieter, a veteran of the South African Proteas international team, more than 80 caps. Played in England, New Zealand, South Africa. And obviously now showing us her wares in Australia. Lenise Potgieter, did she help the Thunderbirds in the second half of this season? Close in on the top four. She leaves that shot short, but gets the rebound, but not before dropping the ball out of play or stepping out of play. Hartley Cassidy. Good to see her over that scare last week, the head knock. Well, that long court transition from the Lightning was right side dominant. It was basically like they were playing tunnel ball down the sideline. Cassidy for Sherian, and now Conan considers her options. Sherian at circle edge finds an open Kara Conan. Wilson called out a play, and the Lightning need that. Kira Trump, over to you. Yeah, look, Steph Wood just looks so dangerous when she sweeps into the circle in front of her defender. The, well done, Tara Hinchcliffe. Another turnover there. As we see the ball go down court under extreme physical pressure that the Thunderbirds are applying. Just saying, when Steph Wood enters the circle here in front of her player, she's so dangerous dragging that defender off. Here she is getting in front, not slipping behind. Well, that's exactly what a good goal attack does, is split the defensive unit between the goalkeeper and goal defence. But Latanya Wilson coming up with the win. And it's hard because as a defensive combination, you want to have awareness of each other. You want that communication with one another. But when you are busy trying to find where those moving attackers are, that becomes difficult. And Steph Wood, we talk about her being one of the smartest playmakers in the comp, and she is. She's recognised that, and that's what she's trying to do with that sweep across the front of the circle, is just disconnect Wilson and Sterling. Oh! And watching <laughs> on as Shamira Sterling goes airborne again. That looks like the coach we just saw, as will the scoreboard for the time being. 16-13 Adelaide, hunting their first victory since round two. They beat Collingwood, they beat the Giants. But since then, have lost to the Lightning, the Giants, Firebirds, Vixens, and Fever. Do the Thunderbirds return to the winner's circle here tonight? Hinchliff for Conan, who loses it through the fingertips, but Sherian cleans up and well, they this, regroup. This game is a defender's dream to watch. Last time they met, 37 games, respectively. Both teams picked up, as you can see here. Sterling, there's just so much ball that's being won defensively. So, I mean, obviously, 
being a defender, that's what excites you. But it's about both of these teams being able to convert and, and really score off the good job of these games. 37 games in a game between two teams is a lot, Matt. Here's Steph Wood. The shot short. Wilson with the rebound. And it's a problem for the Lightning, isn't it? Converting at the attacking end. McDonald's cross court for Petty and Horgis. And he's back to Nankerville. Here's Potgita. This is just a mature set play there from the Thunderbirds as Macy Nankerville gives a clap. They had that long lead, they looked long, gave it, and then they realised they needed to just let play catch up, so they reset it back. That's a sign of maturity, and that's something that this Thunderbirds outfit has potentially lacked a little bit at times, so it's developing over the season. So good signs for the, the ladies in pink. Have a Hey, as a team, guys, I still a um, couple of things through court defence, so that they're going from here, 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 straight down way too quickly. So when they turn, let's jump ball side so all they can see is blue. Okay, so let's commit to that. However, in attack, let's make sure we've got a feel. Our line and angle at the moment is to a body. You want to attack to space. So take them somewhere, open up. Let's go, let's put our back there. Burn addressing her players and as you can see there their first win of the season came against Adelaide by a goal in Adelaide they've since beaten Melbourne and the Swifts but last week a real setback down by 28 against the Giants Kira what was Adelaide saying in that time out yeah lots of uh, smiles up and about Lanise Potgita really wanting to cite the defender when she gets the ball and look in when she's out so let's see if they can move that ball away from the hands of Kate Walsh and Hinchliff just goals again for Adelaide. Laura, how big a psychological den is it when you give up a league high 82 points three times to the halfway mark of the season for yeah. the Lightning? Yeah, it would definitely be something that the Lightning probably have addressed, wouldn't have wanted to address, obviously, um, during their training weeks. But, it, you know, it's, it's a team that you're talking about, as we see there, just another win for the Thunderbirds. Lightning haven't missed finals the introduction of Suncorp Super Netball. Now they're playing against a team that have never made finals. So when you've lost games, record losses, it's definitely something that you have to address. There'd be lots of questions that are happening amongst the Lightning players at the moment. But let's not forget, they're without some very experienced players. They've gone through the transition of losing a Laura Langman, not having a Carla Pretorius, their captain. You know, she's out with pregnancy. So there's a lot of changes in this Lightning team that haven't happened, obviously, as Tara Hinchliffe just comes up with another win. And it's about how they adapt to it, how they react and respond and how they get on with things. Is there a bit of momentum building here for Lightning? Thunderbirds by four, Conan fed by Steph Wood, and Conan shot off significantly. So Steph bails her out. And Steph Wood brings it back to three, just to underline the changes for the Lightning. Here are the players in their first season with the Sunshine Coast, first full contracted season anyway. Riley Batchildor, Annie Miller, Maddie Hinchliffe, Tara Hinchliffe, Katie Ann Dehaney. Plenty of change. Oh, absolutely. Such a um, huge moving roster for the Lightning, particularly when they're a team that haven't had a lot of movement. So big big changes for them and it takes time you know they're not expected to just be able to click into gear straight away um it's about how kylie byrne works with them moving forward and get and develops those combinations out on court so walsh called out of play there potgeeter scores and kira trump over to you 
Yeah, look, I'm just noticing here down on court that there seems to be a lot of space between the Lightning players and the uh, Thunderbird attacking line. They seem to be able to get the ball pretty freely down court and it's creating a lot of space and time for the Thunderbirds, which the Lightning are not getting down the other end. Every pass is contested. Every ball is hard won. And Gaitzi, how, how does it, you know, when you've got that built physical pressure over, a, a, you know, a space of time that it cre creates that error? Well, you can see it now, can't you, Kira, down here, just the niggle that's creeping in again, Mahalia Cassidy. This is what we saw from Lightning last week. Giants got under their skin. Lightning didn't react. Well, another win there for them. And this is where the Lightning need to keep their cool. They can't get caught up in the drama of it. They need to be able just to be bigger and better, except that the physicality is there. That's how Thunderbirds play. And just be smarter, adapt the game, use their fakes, use their balks. Oh. They give it away again, another turnover after so much good work from Kate Walsh. Firstly, the rejection, then a pinpoint accurate, long cross-court pass. But it comes to nothing, Walsh again involved defensively. Potgieter collects the scraps. Well, this was like a ping-pong match in round three. There was 62 turnovers between both teams and we're seeing similar style of play today. Oh, we're up to great. 27 already. Well, there you go. <laughs> well and truly on track. Hinch lift for Wood. First quarter to the Thunderbirds, 13-10. They lead the second quarter by two as we hit Suncorp super shot time and Wood elects to go in closer. We just touch briefly on the physicality that the Thunderbirds are showing. They're sitting at 26 penalties at the moment. So their intent is to play a physical game. They've watched the footage last week that GWS put out on Lightning, got under their skin, and that's clearly what the Thunderbirds are doing. They want to play that physical style of netball and really intimidate the Lightning, put them off their game, get them a bit cranky. Wood from range okay, collects her own here? missed shot. Out of play? Oh, yeah, right. Okay. Action, both play in. Wood scores Taylor Williams out there for Adelaide at the moment. And Kira Trump, do you like what you've seen from Taylor in her first year as a Thunderbird? Absolutely. She's come off the bench for Tanya Ops and she's done her job in the centre position there. She's getting the big claps here on the sideline from her coach. She delivered that ball to Lanise. She looked for the defender first and faked it and put it in. So certainly a seamless transition for the Thunderbirds when they're bringing these players off the bench. Yeah, elevated after a couple of years as a training partner. Fully contracted, Taylor Williams, the 21-year-old. And they like that, the lightning crowd. Steph Wood telling them to make some noise. Well, we see that positional switch that's happened at the beginning of this quarter between Conan and Wood paying dividends. Horges lines up for two. Georgie Horges. Oh, Suncorp. Super oh. shot shootout between these two teams. Georgie Horger sitting one from one. Steph Wood two from four. She's going to line up for another. Rims away. And the crowd was riding it all the way. <laughs> Weren't they? I could feel it. I know the super shot has its critics, but you can feel the energy go up. You can see why the crowd loves the final five minutes knowing they can close the gap or extend the lead very, very quickly. Well, a 10-goal goal game now means nothing when the super shot is played and played successfully. You can just close those margins so, so quickly. Which, when you want the crowd on their seats until the end and viewers watching until the end, it's good. Absolutely. Have a look there. Time in possession. Currently, the Lightning have got more ball in hand, 55% to 40 5%, but just not able to finish off. So Thunderbirds doing a good job with the amount of ball that they are getting. Kira, it might sound like an obvious question, but as a player, how concerned were you when you dominated possession but trailed on the scoreboard? Yeah, look, that's one of those things about netball. The stats and the score don't always reflect how the game's been playing. One thing I have noticed, Matt, is that 
Thunderbirds just gave away a centre pass break kick, which is one of those errors that you would expect Net Set Go Girls to learn, but it still happens at a professional level. They're up there as one of the top two teams for centre breaks, um, and it's a coach killer. Tanya Ops won't be happy with that. I can, I can feel her disgust <laughs> on the other side of the court. It is That is exactly what it is, a coach killer. Her just going, my goodness me. And don't worry, it's not just the netballers. Every code has commentators <laughs> saying that's under sixes stuff. <laughs> and, and coaches bemoaning such comments. So Tilly Garrett back on. Tanya Wilson heads off. And as we touched on earlier, Tilly Garrett, game 50. Three years with Collingwood. She's in her second as a Thunderbird. Hodges for two. She catches enough of the target. Well, don't you love Hodges' smile after a super shot? She's not the tallest player in the circle, but she's shooting over the arms of Kate Walsh. Tara Hinchliffe, she's got absolutely no fear. I just love a smile. Forget oh, no. after a super shot, well, a smile. Exactly. You just love a player that's out there enjoying themselves, don't you? At the end of the day, having a smile, having a giggle at what unfolds out there. Does anyone smile more than Greta Boeta? Does she lead the <laughs> smile ranks? Is there a stat for that? Well, actually, yeah, absolutely, doesn't she? El McDonald to Potgita. Who just becomes an option. Williams with the double play, and now home alone, Lanise nice Potgita builds this lead. It's out to seven. Dying seconds of the half. The clock awareness here by Thunderbirds very quickly to get it down Kurt court. Fine pot geeter. So we'll stop the clock with three seconds. It will have to be very, very slick here by the Lightning. If they're to reduce this deficit, Kara Conan can't get it done. At the end of the first two quarters, it's the visitors in control. Adelaide 29 leads Sunshine Coast 21. Two Suncorp Super Netball teams looking to return to the winners list. The Lightning hosting the Thunderbirds. Let's bring in the Adelaide coach, Tanya Obst. You've won both quarters so far. You lead by eight at halftime. What are you liking as Adelaide coach right now? Well, the scoreline, obviously, <laughs> but um, <laughs> I think that our defence has been pretty exceptional with the amount of ball that they've been able to give us. And, and just in the forward line, we probably just needed to um, settle a little bit when we did have ball in hand and I thought we did do that in the second quarter. Absolutely Tanya it's been amazing just to see the maturity that long options on but your midcourt just sending the ball back and and just resetting that must be pleasing to see that change of pace. Yeah I, th I think um, we were a bit excited early and, and trying to uh, you know keep up with with things we didn't need to. So um, just that ability to, to control, site defence um, and make our best choice. And, and uh, yeah, we sort of, sort of, as I said, the second quarter, we were a lot better with that. How do you approach a moving circle in the likes of Cone and Wood when Batchelor comes on? What, di what direction do you give the likes of Sterling and Matilda Garrett on court at the moment? Yeah, look, very, very much um, trying not to, you know, let them get into their shooting range, obviously. So positioning in spots that they probably want to land the ball and having a quite a specific game plan uh, for the two-point shot, because obviously Lightning are, are pretty deadly in that area. We've well, scored the first goal of this third quarter, Tanya. Thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of the game, and we'll talk again soon. Cheers. Thank you. Yeah, Tanya Ops, her team beaten twice by just one goal another couple of defeats by single figures so while they're on a five game losing streak you look at the scores and you think they're not too far away and right now up by nine if they can go on and convert maybe it ignites a charge through the back end of this season as we've touched on already absolutely matt this defensive setup that the thunderbirds are putting on the lightning at the moment is outstanding they're playing off the body a little bit, watching the flight of the ball. You can see there it's a two-on-one in the circle. So they're isolating Steph Wood, letting her go out of the circle, letting her have the ball, and they're sitting back, which allows Sterling and Garrett to have a bit of a fly. So really smart little structure there defensively that the Thunderbirds have thrown on. Yeah, one more. Conan being told to move multiple times, finds the mark in every sense of the word. 
There's the live ladder, and you can see how close it is around the fight for positions three, four. Thunderbirds win here. They'll go to 12 points along with the Magpies and the Lightning. Well, four points a win. You can I see know, how close it it's is. It's incredible, isn't it, Matt? Because we're talking about the top four Thunderbirds prior to this going, is their season still capable of being alive? They win today. We just saw the Firebirds lose, so they stay on 16 points. Oh, Jamira Sterling just coming out. All of a sudden, Thunderbirds can leapfrog up a few places, so anything can happen at this midway point of the season. Last season, the cutoff for the top four was eight and six. Eight wins, six defeats, as Kara Conan scores again. So with that sort of figure in mind, these two teams are looking to go five and two, probably six and one through the back half of the season. Yeah, and I'd even ask the question, having a look at the Thunderbirds here, are they a team that actually plays? Oh, Kate Walsh causing havoc again. And Elle McDonald there, just a little bit confused. She didn't chase it, thinking that it was off the Lightning player, but the umpire saw it differently. But just to go back to what I was saying, is are the Thunderbirds a team that relishes playing away better than at home. We know they've got so many passionate supporters. They're dangerous at home. But sometimes a team can actually, just having that time away on the road together, their routine is similar. Um, you know, it, it can sometimes be the difference. Oh, great work there. Oh, <laughs> I, I have to say the umpire got that one wrong there. Thunderbirds just looking at it going, no way. And Tara Hinchliffe knowing that that should have been a Thunderbirds throw in. Well, Thunderbirds got four of the next five away. Can they get on a roll or do the Lightning get on a roll right here, right now? As Annie Miller comes on for Laura Sherrion. And there's her first touch. The last player signed by the Lightning for this season, Annie Miller. <laughs> Shamira Sterling, another rejection to her name, but the lady we're just talking about, Annie Miller. Again, what? it's Sterling. Oh my goodness. It's just monotonous, isn't it? What is she sitting at, Matt? It's just unbelievable. Having a look at the wins that she's coming up with. While you look at that, let's go across to Kira who has this change about the lightning. Yes, as we see the ball fly out of the baseline there. Look, we've had a change in the centre court, which I think is a, is a good one for the lightning. They've brought on Annie Miller, and we've got shares in the in the substitution box with the centre bib on. I think they're just lacking a little bit of punch in that, in that goal third. Uh, Maddie Hinchliffe just looking a little tired at the moment, um, maybe coming off for a breather. This will be one that will help the lightning be able to move that ball with speed around the circle edge. Well, speaking of punch, Kara Conan too just looks like she's just a little bit off the pace and to be expected you know she's obviously been battling a sickness There's in the last change. week but it's just that high energy that fast game that we're so used to seeing lightning play just isn't there at the moment can this shuffle of annie miller in wing attack and laura sherry and just add some speed and injection into this forward line and there it is already great feed Absolutely, for Kara Conan, who smiles and applauds and feels they've created something here. So can the Lightning keep this little run going? Thunderbirds hoping to make the most of this possession. And it's an offensive call. So again, the Lightning quickly up court. Now Steph Wood. And that's what Laura Sherian does so well, are those quick little double plays to the circle edge. And Tanya Obst electing for a HCF tactical timeout. That was probably fairly obvious given the last few minutes. Well, four goals to the Lightning on the trot. Absolutely a very well-timed out. Timeout, I should say, from the Adelaide Thunderbirds. Hey, that's what we're talking about, those last two plays, guys, where we get it, we look, we give it somewhere else, and we set a triangle up to go so much better. OK? And you've got to keep it flat. We don't play up there. Kara's getting on the side or the front, but we also use a side to open up something. 
get the ball and go. Okay, great work. You go. Great work. I just reckon we're sagging a little bit yeah. too much on that side of the court. Yeah, the yeah, circle. definitely. So play the front yeah. to with Georgie. Yeah. So, but you know they to come back in and work together. I definitely, yeah. I okay. need to stay up a bit more. Yeah. yeah. Now, with Shirzy out the front, we can get some sort of movement a bit more. Yeah. So you come off and have practice over that first. So we can have a flight. Mahali is doing a really good yeah. job of covering the short. Look for the pop over the back. Yeah. 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 Come off and get the shooter. Yeah. 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 So have a look at it. That's the other thing is through bringing the ball down the court. You've got to get to the transverse line because they're flooding down. Yeah. Hey, come on. So yeah. double play yourself down. You've been listening to Kylie Byrne in an HCF tactical timeout. Her Sunshine Coast Lightning on the move here and at the other end of the floor. She's been on the move all night, your Nissan Net Points leader. Shamira Sterling sitting at 71 Nissan Net Points. She's got three intercepts, three deflections to her name. But goodness me, she's just everywhere, just hands in everything. But a great little patch of play here from the Lightning. They're leading this quarter 5-2. Oh! I think so, she needs to do a hair like that for every game if she's going to continue She to... didn't like that call. <laughs> Shamira did not like that call. And was she a little bit unlucky there? Well, I mean, she's just got such great footwork around the body. Could have gone either way, but... Empire seeing it very differently. Kira Trump, what was Tanya Ops saying in that late timeout? Tanya really wanted her attacking players to reward the defenders of the Thunderbirds, and that's been the theme of their season. They've got the likes of Shamira Sterling and Latanya Wilson turning ball over like we see time and time again, and they want to make sure they reward those defenders with the goals. And Lanise Potgita takes a step towards doing that. She's taken 22 steps towards doing that. 22 goals, 23 attempts. She's, she has been outstanding for the Thunderbirds today, but this is just a little mini run here from the Lightning. Thunderbirds just need to be aware of it. They can't afford to just be, kept, be caught snoozing, so to speak. The defenders... Winning ball, then, as Kira said, those the attackers need to be able to reward them. Because here come the Lightning. It's back to four, the difference. 56 penalties. Look at the lopsided penalty stat, the 21. That is a very high penalty count from the Adelaide Thunderbirds. 56, not even three quarters of netball played. The most penalised team in the competition being so again here tonight. Conan just takes the lob pass from Wood and scores again. Look at the scoreboard, back to three. Kara Conan likes it, so does the crowd in at USC Stadium. Well, I love the change here of Laura Sherry in an into centre with Annie Miller into wing attack. This is what we're used to seeing from the Lightning. They're keeping that ball flat. Oh. Rebound from Sterling. <laughs> Disappointment on Steph Wood's face, and for good reason. They really needed to sink that one. Wilson for the captain, Petty, on the Nankerville and McDonald. Yeah, Three-second hell, call. Hell, hell ball. Hell ball there from Thunderbirds. Just a little bit of confusion between Potgita and Porges in the circle. Who was doing what? No option for the feeder to, to deliver to. Latanya Wilson colliding with Steph Wood and Kira Trump. You can feel the momentum shifting, can't you? Absolutely, Matt. You can see there that 57 penalties accrued by the Thunderbirds. The Lightning are starting to get the upper edge, but it's coming at a toll as we saw Steph Wood hit the deck. She's a huge Baromo, great intercept there as they lifted the ball, and that's not what they want to do, the Lightning. They need to move it flat. For me, Steph Wood's the barometer of the Lightning. When she's up and about, so are the Lightning. So as a captain, she really needs to get herself in there and make sure that her body language is really positive. Oh, another little spoil, Elle McDonald. Thunderbirds is looking a little bit tired, and I was just going to say there, this is the challenge. 
Latanya Wilson came up with that good little win. If they could have converted off of that, but this is where we see those errors creeping into their game as they take it down the court. Whether a change in attack is required for the Thunderbirds, we know they've got Tipper Dwan on the bench. We enter super shot territory. Oh, there she goes again. Wilson getting a hand of the ball, regaining her own deflection, and quickly up the floor. Nankerville to Potgita, and that's a steadier for Adelaide. Have a look here at this work, just the hands and the follow-up, keeping the ball alive. As we see there a change in the midcourt. Williams to centre. The Harvey Norman replay made the play by Latanya Wilson look even better. And there's that change in the attack line. Or just still staying on court. Yeah. Beside the keeper. Yeah. Can Thunderbirds weather the storm? Well, if they keep going through that lady there and just applying that scoreboard pressure, ticking over those one pointers, they put themselves in good stead. Wood finds Miller. Now Batcheldor. Back to Miller. And legs are tangled. Petty and Batcheldor, who hits the deck. Hold time. Can we wipe the floor, please? So while we while we clean the floor and have a look at the Harvey Norman replay, I want to tell all our viewers about how you can be a listener as well. The podcast, the fourth quarter, Sarah Carriglou does a great job. And this week's episode had Sharon Finn and White on board. Look it up. The fourth quarter, a great listen each week. Talking about a theme or an issue in netball, but previewing and reviewing the round as well. The fourth quarter with Sarah Caraglou. Williams to Petty. Do the Thunderbirds look for the super shot? Georgie Horges in great position here. She now gets a defender out of play, so a good opportunity to go for it, and she sinks it. She hasn't missed a super shot today. She's three of three. Overall, Georgie's 9 of 11. Batchel door and Miller. Does Steph Wood go back at them with a super shot of her own? She leaves it short. Wilson gets the rebound. And Petty says, let's go, Thunderbirds. Kira Trump, over to you. Yeah, we saw a beautiful piece on the Adelaide Thunderbirds social media page this week about Georgie Horges and her... Growing up on Kangaroo Island, her idol being the great Erin Bell, who Geitzy would know being a hard player to play against, shooting from anywhere in the era where there was no such thing as a super shot. Now, it brought tears to my eyes watching Georgie Hall just talk about her idol, Erin Bell, and I bet right now there are plenty of young players out there that see Georgie Hall just as their idol. Absolutely. Outstanding play by her. Absolutely. A beautiful piece there on Georgie Horges, as you mentioned, Erin Bell. One of the hardest goal attacks to come up against. But we said it before, didn't we? Horges plays with a smile on her face. She's got no fear. She's one of the smaller attackers out there, but she puts her heart into every game. She's a proud South Australian. She's come through the ranks. So for all the South Australian girls watching on Georgie Horges is now their idol and a wonderful role model to look up to. Adelaide's first player signed for 2022. She's now in her third fully contracted season at the Thunderbirds, Georgie Horges, and doing great things. Just over 90 seconds left in the third quarter. The Lightning had a run at Adelaide, who have since steadied. So a big minute and a half here as the Lightning look to cut this gap. Wood to bring it back by two. Batcheldor, strong. Double team, but gets the rebound and scores. Yeah, absolutely. The defensive pressure over the shot there. Outstanding, but equally outstanding. The attack from the Thunderbirds as Hort just, just misses that one. But the look on Kate Walsh's face says it all. It gets called back for a penalty, penalty to be set. So... Thunderbirds doing a really good job of just weathering the storm that the lightning threw at them and 
little bit of argy bargy happening between Annie Miller and Hannah Petty. Again, we see 64 penalties to the Thunderbirds, only 26 to the Lightning. Miller to Wood. And Miller finds Batchelor in the super shot zone. She can't convert. And Adelaide with 24 seconds to use here. Well, it was really interesting to hear Kath Cox comments on Centre Circle this week about the super shot. Do you take it in a predicament that the Lightning are in now? Because obviously they take it. They miss the shot like they just did. Then they give the opportunity to the Thunderbirds. So all of a sudden it can blow out so quickly. Are they better just to take the one point as well? Who knows? Remains to be seen. I'm definitely not a shooting expert, so <laughs> don't ask me the, the right or the wrong answer. Adelaide came to Sunshine Coast and won the first quarter 13-10 and the second quarter 16-11. It's all square after the third, 10 apiece. But that eight goal, half-time lead remains. It's Adelaide 39, Sunshine Coast 31, heading to the final term. Welcome back to USC Arena, where we see the T-Birds leading the Sunshine Coast Lightning by eight points. We have a game on our hands, guys. We will be coming on court here with changes with Riley Batchelor back on goal shooter, Kara Conan out at goal attack, and Annie Miller at wing attack. They're still at the fight in the Lightning, and they'll be trying really hard to make sure they get this win for their home crowd. Over to you guys to get the T-Birds bench. Well, it was so interesting to hear Tanya off, Tanya off, so I should say, spending some time with Lanise Potgita, and all of the conversation was based around the starting position that Potgita has in the circle, particularly with this matchup on Hinchcliffe. She said, just take her up a little higher, start a little higher to confuse Tara as to whether to have that front position or whether to sit behind her. So just keep your eye on that. You can already see Potgita just hedging into that super shot zone. So let's see how that plays out and what Tara Hinchcliffe, how she adjusts and what she does to counteract that higher position. Quarter time brought to you by Origin Energy and we are into the final quarter here. Last year, Lightning beat Adelaide 59-58. Then the Thunderbirds bounced back 61-60 early this season. Lightning 52-51. So their last three meetings, one goal the difference. The Lightning need to come back to create that one goal scenario again. Down by eight, which was the halftime deficit. As Mahalia Cassidy and Tara Hinchley find Annie Miller. Sherian. Batchelor goes back to Sherian. Well, so many changes, Matt, down in this forward line over the course of the game from the Lightning. We currently see Batchelor and Conan on court together. Wood to the bench. Annie Miller and Sherian. There's been quite a few changes down here so what will Kylie Byrne do who will she settle on and will she let them play out the game that first score of the quarter plenty of ball movement from the lightning Kira did you like that yeah absolutely they're moving that ball around they're keeping it flat and they're using that extra pass if it's not on I like the shooter to shooter that's a really great move from the lightning like that it was Miller to Kara Conan not Batchelor so wing attack to goal attack who missed, they can go again. Miller. Well, Kylie Burns said it in her address to the team at halftime, use the triangles. What that means is keep the ball low, pass it out, double play, keep it rotating around, moving the defenders and opening up the attacker at some stage. So it's that patient, quick ball play that is required from the Lightning. It's been really patient to start the, the fourth quarter. Shamira Sterling thought she'd done enough. She leads the game for Nissan net points with 80 now. Closing oh. in on that season average of 88. Pot Geeta for Williams. The Lightning looking to force a turnover. Miller calls for the penalty. Horges now Nankerville at circle edge to Horges. Double play with Maisie and Georgie Horges gets it done. 
Absolutely beautiful work there from the Thunderbirds. They were limiting options there, but as we see the live ladder pop up, the right hand of the screen there. T-Birds sitting on 12 points. They take the win today. We know a win's worth four. All of a sudden, it comes down to percentage, doesn't it? So there'd be one win between teams three and seven. Correct. With she's, a long way to go. She's very congested, isn't it? Absolutely. Which makes for a good competition, for a good run home. We're now one and a bit games into the second half of the season. The run towards the finals as Kara Conan celebrates. It's back to six the difference. The final starting June 18, the grand final July 2. It's all to look forward to on Fox Netball. So Kate Walsh called out a play. Well, Thunderbirds just not having it all their way at the moment down in this forward line. They're having to reset, go back, and that's credit to the defensive structure that the Lightning are putting on. They're contesting first ball, remaining in place and not getting called for the penalty and just applying so much pressure, shutting down all options. Miller finds Conan on the move magnificently. The crowd likes it. Kara loves it. And there's some life in the Lightning tonight. And that's the last thing the Thunderbirds want, is to get the crowd involved in this game. But another win, another coach killer, as Kira calls it. Centre pass to the Thunderbirds as quick as you like, turned over, Lightning possession. Conan to Batchelor. From distance, bottom of the net, Riley Batchelor. And as you would expect, a timeout from the Adelaide Thunderbirds. Another run from the Lightning. A tactical timeout thanks to HCF. We will listen in to okay, Tanya Ops. What, what centre pass we're going to go to? Let's have a look, yeah. So let's think about it. Let's, let's get plenty of time to get ourselves there, OK? There's some really good work down here. That's a good exit. Have a look at Tara's hands, because she's really hurt. The, she's coming at you with the ball, all right? So let's think about how we get that one over. Yeah? And this one here... Lenny, I think that we can use you. When we're all high here, they're looking for high. I think we can use for your back space. Yeah? But let's just get that eye connection before we pass that one in. Because I think that was that, was that on with that help ball. So as Lenise Potgieter and the Thunderbirds return, having steadied hopes Tanya Obst, Kira Tromp, what was being said at the other end of the court? Kylie Byrne put it all out there, all down to the players. This is you girls, you drive this now. Really powerful message, putting that ball back in the players' court. They know what to do, they're athletes. They just need to go out there and execute. Laura Sherian leading the game for centre pass, receives and feeds. And she's busy there in the attacking third. Conan, fed by Batchelor, Miller gets involved. And Tilly Garrett penalised there. And a petty offside, so Batchelor. Fine Sherry. Again, this patience on show from Lightning, but what's one pass too many? Maybe that one is. Yeah, and it's funny, just observing the last couple of set plays, or plays, I should say, down this Lightning attack, and we're so used to seeing Shamira Sterling, Wilson in particular, getting hand to nearly every ball, but they've been a little bit quiet in this last quarter. Lightning are leading 5-2. So what this attack end need to do for the Thunderbirds is generate some energy. It looks a little bit flat. There's no communication. Not much talking down here. So somebody needs to take a bit of ownership. Hannah Petty's the captain. She's in that wing defence role. So 
A bit of voice from her might just be able to lift the energy of this Thunderbirds outfit, which is what they desperately need in the last nine minutes of this quarter. Look at the Harvey Norman replay. Here's Lenise Potkita with the big reach to answer the goal a moment ago from Riley Batchelor. Riley five of nine. She's had four super shots and made one, so that's where the shooting stat has taken a hit. 59% possession to the Lightning, 41 to the Thunderbirds. We've said it before, the stats really don't tell the story, do they? Or the, is it net points or whatever? It's, oh, there's a little win for the Thunderbirds. And this is where they should be backing one another up. Shamira Sterling to Petty. Being challenged the visitors. What's the answer going to be? Tilly Garrett. Her pass is taken by Batchelor. Another turnover by Adelaide. Miller and Riley Batchelor. It's good. Kira Trump. They look better and better. Sunshine Coast. Look, for me, the minute that Kara Conan missed that shot, she switched straight to defence and she earned that turnover, although she wasn't the one that got it. She stuck to her player and she shut down that option and that's what will do it for these Lightning girls if they can continue to match up on Thunderbirds. This is the point of the game. Kira is so right. This is the point of a match where it doesn't matter about your set play so much. It matters about who's come to play, who wants to win. These teams, both of them, have been in situations where they've come it's come down to close encounters. So it's about who wants this win the most, who's up and about, who drives that from a leadership point of view. Lightning have their captain, Steph Wood, on the court. Kara Conan's experienced enough to be able to lead, but who does it for the Thunderbirds? Is it Petty? Who really drives that energy and that want to win this match? Well, Hannah Petty's a good option in her seventh year at the Thunderbirds, the team captain. Trying to get them up and over the line here to snap this five-game losing streak as the Lightning close to within four. Gorgeous. Here's Taylor Williams. Now Pot Geeta. Kate Walsh called out of it. Pot Geeta scores calmly. Tomorrow, Fever Magpies into the Sydney Derby. A great Sunday of Fox Netball. Showcasing the best league in the world, Suncorp Super Netball. Well, just in uh, on the bench of the Sunshine Coast Lightning, Kylie Byrne, the coach, has just made her way down to Steph Wood, having a little chat in her ear. Will we see her come onto the court this last five minutes? What do they do? Do they go for the super shot? Do they keep plugging away at the one point up? What do the Thunderbirds do? They've well, got you that... answer that question. <laughs> you're the ex player, you're the expert if you're out there and it's a desperate game and you've been toiling all day, you're in the fourth quarter. What are you wanting your team to do? What I'd be saying if I was in wearing the pink today, I'd be saying to my defenders, up and about, we need to win some possession. Wilson's on the court, we need a win. We've done it all game, but we're quiet. I'd be just going for the one-pointers, just keeping that scoreboard pressure on for the Lightning. Their energy's up. The moment, the momentum is with them. If they're in good position to take the super shot, take it, but make sure your, your goal shooter, goal attack is under great rebound position to clean up the crumbs if you are to miss it. Nankerville did well to keep possession. Awkward contact with Sherian, who thankfully gets straight back up. Great Williams. little play there from Georgie Hoare, just so sneaky, using the baseline as a friend and just exposing the Lightning defenders. Well, Kira, do you have an insight into the T-Birds coaching direction? Yeah, Tanya Ops just asking her players to settle, not to get caught up here in this sort of momentum shift with the crowd getting involved. Her centre court players just having some composure and getting that ball to the post. Well, you can hear the hooter in the background signalling that the super shot is now in play. Kara Conan likes the percentages of the one at the moment. Just plugging away, and that's not such a bad thing, Matt. Just to keep the scoreboard ticking over. But as we thought, you can see in back play, Steph Wood with the goal attack bib on. And here's a win for the Lightning, and the crowd love it. 
This is where the home crowd really comes into its own. Willing their team up and over the line here. Beaten badly last week when they gave up 82 points to the Giants. Steph Wood for two, she leaves the shot short. But Latanya Wilson is penalised and Wood can go again. Shamira Sterling, a hands over pressure, does enough and now Wilson wins possession for Adelaide. What an outstanding piece of defensive work from Wilson. Great pressure over the shot. She followed up the rebound. That's as good as an intercept. Having that pressure over, putting the shooter off and then being able to clean up the crumbs. The Jamaicans, the defenders. The Jamaican Sunshine Coast crazy right now with their efforts to deny Batchel Door, yes. Steph Wood, Kara Conan at times, but Steph Wood back on the floor now. Kara Conan riding her team from the bench. Well, there's no easy pass at the moment for the Lightning. The Sunshine Coast defenders are just pressuring everything. And Pot Gita. She gets it done, despite the presence of Tara Hinchliffe. Miller called by Sherian, who gets the ball and goes to Riley Batchelor. Big shot that misses. Five and the difference. And this is where it becomes dangerous for the Lightning, having taken those super shots, missing the last two. Thunderbirds coming up with possession, taking it down, and all of a sudden, momentum swings. Thunderbirds get down here. They'd be silly to go for the two-pointer. They'll just plug away at the one. So Kira Trump with two and a bit minutes to play. It's super shot territory now for the Lightning, isn't it? Williams. Sure. To Pot Gita. Here at Super Shot territory now for the Lightning, isn't it? Just back to Kira. There's a drama over the other side of the court for a moment as Walsh. And Cassidy now. Well, the crowd well and truly just quiet in here. They can feel that this is slipping through their fingers quite literally right there Adelaide on this five game losing streak just over a minute from a much needed pressure easing hard earned victory well they set themselves up Matt in that first half the Thunderbirds they played a well-executed game plan, maturity. Contact, the defenders contact, won them so much ball and they converted off contact, of it. So the they put control. themselves in a good position. Thunder that third man. quarter, 10 all. Lightning leading this one, 11-10. Yeah, they won the first quarter by three, the second quarter by in five. The two, and yeah. even though there's been a steady by Lightning since half time and a challenge, it must be said. Adelaide have handled it, and Tanya Opst and her coaching team working oh so hard to stop the rot. And doesn't she love that little play there from Williams? The pressure, just having a fly at it. Lightning, it came off Lightning, so again, Thunderbirds will come up with possession. Lenise Potgita, so good for Adelaide tonight. 35 of 36. And she hasn't taken one super shot because she hasn't had to. She's had great positioning under the post. Riley Batchelor lands the three, but full time sounds, and you wouldn't know it, but under that mask, there's a big smile, I'm sure. At least internally, Tanya Obst and her Adelaide Thunderbirds back as winners for the first time since round two.